All right, welcome to the 10 most popular essential oils to have in your home. I am Abigail Gonzalez. My husband, David, and I run DNA Essentials, and we are doTERRA Platinums. Uh, this is our family. Um, I have a BFA in ballet from Texas Christian University. And I am a professional Pilates instructor with the Physical Mind Institute of New York. And a happy wife and mother. We have three little girls and we have a little boy that's, maybe he'll arrive tonight. I hope so. I'm waiting <laughs> um, in anticipation. So I've um, been doing a lot of walking today, um, trying to get him to come. So hopefully he'll arrive soon. We're very excited. Having three girls and adding a boy is a big deal. So anyways, that's our little family. Um, so let's dive right in. We're talking about essential oils tonight. So why would we use essential oils? Well, number one, they are a great part of a well-rounded wellness lifestyle. They address and support the body at the root cause, not just about helping with symptoms. Now this is a, a big thing to address. Um, in health right now, you have two different arenas. You have more of the natural wellness preventative healthcare, and then you have our medicine and doctors and, and things like that. And what they are trained to do, doctors, they are trained in, in drugs and, um, and how to treat symptoms, right? But with um, essential oils, it's different. With essential oils, what we wanna do is we want to support the body systems because we're working on balancing out the body, getting to the root cause of what's going on in the body so that, that uh, those, those symptoms will essentially subside because the body is working all together. So that's what the essential oils have the ability to do in the body. And that's why one of the main reasons they're so important to our health and why we need to be using them every day and they're natural, safe, and effective. And every single member of the family can use them, even your pets. Um, so what are essential oils? They are pure liquid extracts that are steam released or pressed from plants. They have many properties that support the body and soothe many concerns, they can be used for many, many things. And they are 100% plant derived with no additional ingredients or fillers. And that's a really important point. Um, you want to make sure that you're getting a really, really pure, pure essential oil. So that's why for the best results, you want to use very high quality essential oil. The essential oils that we trust, David and I, are doTERRA. And we've been using them for um, over three years now with amazing benefits to our health and to our children. Um, you want to choose oils from a trusted company. Don't just go out. There's a big oil boom happening now. Everybody's selling essential oils, even the dollar store, Walmart, Best Buy is, sell is selling essential oils. So, you know, probably not the best places to buy essential oils if you want high quality, right? Um, certainly not probably Best Buy. Um, so looking for a company that you can really trust. Using CPTG, which is third certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils, it's very, very important because of purity and potency. Um, you want to be able to get the effect that you need in your body. And in order to have that, you have to go with a really pure oil because it has all the chemical structures it needs and able to, to be able to work in your body. So look into where the oil is sourced for the best chemical makeup for the oil. That's really important too. Many companies will um, source their oils here in the United States and or you know some companies just have uh, oils in their backyards. Now they may be a pure oil but are they gonna be the best chemical makeup there can be for that essential oil? So what doTERRA has done that's different than others is they go and they source their oils from all over the world. And here's this slide just shows you where all of their essential oils come from. So they're coming from all over the world. And that is a really important point because they're really looking and searching for 
wherever that plant is growing um, naturally, where it's in its natural habitat, the soil is going to be right, the weather, the climate, everything will be perfect for that plant to grow so that the essential oil can be harvested and have this beautiful chemical makeup that's going to do wonderful things for your body. So that's a really, really important point. You can find pure essential oils other places, but if you really want a therapeutic grade oil that's gonna really benefit your body, then you're gonna to wanna to look for something with the best chemical makeup. So three ways to use them. We can use them aromatically by diffusing into the room to purify the air or to change the emotions. Essential oils are aromatic compounds, so they're one of the beautiful ways to use them is obviously aromatically through your through the olfactory through your smell um, by doing this you can calm emotional upset it can boost your mood and your energy um, again like i said purify the air and fight off airborne germs and it also promotes a restful sleep so i love to put just about three maybe no more than six drops in a in a diffuser um, and I usually put about three drops in my girls' diffusers, and each one of them have diffusers in their rooms, and I diffuse at night. And it's really, they love it. They don't like to go to bed without that diffuser on. Um, so we love it. And I also diffuse every day in our house. I have multiple diffusers going throughout the day, so I'm really cleansing our air, um, uplifting our mood. Um, also, the other way we can use essential oils is topically, applying directly to the skin during massage or for topical therapy. So this can be to soothe tired, overworked muscles. Say you have some tired muscles in your neck, you just apply the essential oils right to the neck in a massage, um, easing joint discomfort, calming skin irritation, and supporting the immune system. So a lot of times when we apply topically, to support whole body systems, I prefer to put them on the bottoms of the feet and rub them in with a little bit of friction just to drive those oils in really well into the body. And that way they have just a really good overall um, dosage in the body. Um, so that's topical. And then take them internally. Now we would only want to take pure CPTG oils internally. So don't go out and, you know, get a different brand of oil and think that you can also take those internally because you want to be really careful and make sure that your, your oil is really pure for internal use because it is the most potent when taken internally. So they can be consumed as dietary supplements for targeted wellness. Now if you're already using doTERRA essential oils, you'll notice on the bottle that there are is a nutrition facts label. Those are the essential oils that you can take internally. Now, if there's a if the bottle doesn't have that, then it's not really meant for internal use, and it's just for meant for topical or aromatic. Um, there aren't very many that are that aren't for internal. So um, there's just a handful. So when we take essential oils internally, it helps to ease digestive upset supports the immune system, and it can add flavor to food. I cook with them many times. Um, I put them in my morning smoothie. Uh, my favorite is peppermint oil and my chocolate protein drink in the morning. It's really, it's really great. Um, and it calms my digestion, and it gives me that energy boost that I need. Um, I made uh, soup the other night with cumin oil and cilantro and um, I use oregano oil on our spaghetti sauce and any kind of Italian dishes so there's lots of different ways that you can use them also just dropping it in your water a drop or two maybe one drop for four ounces maybe two for eight depending on um, how large the person is I just like one drop um, and drinking that is really great and then also you can put it in if you don't like the taste of it you can put it in, in empty veggie caps and take that like a supplement so those are our three ways of essential use so let's get into our top 10 essential oils so i want to start with lemon lemon is so refreshing um, and it's it's extracted from the rind it's cold pressed um, its aromatic description is clean fresh citrus and bright it cleanses and purifies the air and surfaces. So a lot of times I like to diffuse lemon. It's one of the cheaper oils, and so I feel really safe diffusing as much as I want of it. So I could leave the diffuser on all day. Um, I also really like to put it in glass-free bottles. And the reason that I use glass 
is because lemon is a very powerful cleaning agent and so it can actually eat through petrochemicals and so you want to put it in a glass bottle so that it doesn't leach all the toxins from a plastic or styrofoam or any other substance into your solution that you have in there especially if you're going to be drinking that right we don't want to drink petrochemicals and plastics and things like that so anyways that's what i use i put the lemon in a spray bottle and i fill it up with a little water you could add like a tablespoon of vinegar if you wanted to but i don't and i just shake that up and that's what i use to spray down my counters and i really i clean everything with that and it smells wonderful it's very uplifting lemon also really helps with focus so when my kids come home from school, I like to put lemon in the diffuser while they're sitting there doing their homework and it just really helps their brains to, to focus on what they're doing. So it naturally cleanses the body and aids in digestion. Um, I'm sure many of us know um, the recommendation to drink warm lemon water in the morning, to squeeze a lemon in your warm water in the morning and drink that first thing. It really helps to cleanse um, the liver and the body systems. Well, the lemon oil does the same thing. And so I always recommend everyone drink a glass of lemon water first thing in the morning. It's very cleansing for the body and supports healthy respiratory function. So you can put this topically on the chest. Um, it's really actually excellent for young children. It's very mild and gentle for them. And you'll want to dilute. So one thing that I didn't say in our three uses when we are um, using the essential oils topically is that we want to be able to dilute them just so that we don't have a lot of skin sensitivity. Um, so especially with children, we always dilute. So you'll just dilute a drop of lemon, rub it on your little one's chest to really help support their resp respiratory system. And uh, like I said before, diffusing to promote a positive mood. Now other fun tricks with lemon oil is that lemon can um, take off gummy residues and um, you know marker from little hands on walls and things like that and all you do is you just dip your hand on the top of the lemon bottle and you rub on my girls like to draw on walls I'll just say it and I just rub my finger over the wall and it just comes right off and in fact I was teaching a class at someone's house the other night and she grabbed my lemon she goes can I go try this right now and I said sure and she ran upstairs and she actually got some um, marker off of her wall that she had she I mean she had used everything and she couldn't get that off and so she was she was a believer right there um, so anyways that is lemon oil there's lots of different ways to use it we use it uh, put a drop in our tea in the morning helps to soothe throats um, those are just the main ways that we like to use lemon so the next oil is lavender I love lavender. Um, it's very, very calming. It is also, it's steam distilled, has a powdery floral light kind of scent and aroma. The key benefits are helping to ease feelings of tension. And many of us know that about lavender already. Um, it soothes occasional skin irritations. So when you think of lavender, you think of all things calming. So if you have um, an eruption on your skin or something that's irritated, what would be calming to that? Well, lavender, since it has calming properties. So add a few drops of lavender to pillows, bedding, or the bottoms of your feet for a restful night's sleep. Lavender's great for little kiddos, um, especially for their sleep cycles, really helps to support them. Um, I like to add it to bath water, and, and so it helps to, you to de-stress, and you can apply it to the temples and the back of the neck. Um, lavender, is one of the most versatile essential oils as far as its chemical constituents. It has over 200, and so it's, it's used for a wide array of uses. Um, I like just making a spray of it and spraying down our bed linens. So when I'm making the beds, just so that the beds have that, that um, scent of lavender in them so that when you get a bed or you put your children to sleep, they already have that kind of aroma and it stays with them in their room. It's also very soothing, like I said, to the skin. So summer is coming and we're gonna be out in the sun. And what happens when we're out in the sun a lot? Well, we can get you know, overheated skin, red skin. So 
making a soothing um, after sun spray with lavender is really, really helpful. And you would, I would make it just with, with coconut oil in a little spray bottle. And I just carry it with us wherever we go and spray it on our skin after we've been out in the sun for a while. It just helps to calm the skin down, taking that redness out. Um, and, and there's a little recipe down here too for another sun soothing spray. So that is lavender. Then there's peppermint. Right now, peppermint is my all-time favorite oil. I don't like to even leave the room without having it with me sometimes. Um, it's steamed distillation. It's minty, hot, and herbaceous. Um, it's sourced actually here in the United States. Um, one, of, one of the few oils that we actually do source here in the U.S. Um, the key benefits are it promotes healthy respiratory function and clear breathing. So even just smelling it from the bottle will do that. You can also dilute it and apply it to the chest. Peppermint's a little bit more of a, a, a hot, invigorating hot oil. So when you put it on, you might get a cooling sensation on your skin. Some people don't like that. I, I don't prefer it. So I always dilute peppermint on myself. David doesn't mind it at all. In fact, he puts a drop of peppermint in his shampoo. And he shampoos um, his hair in the shower and with the steam and everything, it just gives you this really great invigorating sense all over your scalp. It's actually also really healthy for your scalp as well. Helps reduce bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion. Apply topically to reveal feeling, relieve feelings of tension. So if you're having neck tension, head tension, um, you just apply that topically and it really helps just melt it away. Um, and diffuse when feeling fatigued or low on energy. I like to keep some peppermint right by my bed and in the morning, and I don't think anybody likes getting up in the morning, I just pop over my peppermint and I smell it and I might put a drop behind my neck. And um, it's really, it really does help pep me up and wakes me right up. So there's lots of different ways that you can use peppermint. I already said I like to put it in my smoothies in the morning. Um, during the holidays, I like to make um, my own Thin Mint cookies, and, and um, it's great to cook with peppermint. Um, lots of different things to do with it. Um, then there's frankincense. Many people call frankincense God in a bottle. It's a very, very precious oil. It's from the resin uh, from Boswellia cartii, farina, and sacra. It's steam distillation. It's warm, spicy, and clean. And it's sourced from Somali Somalia. Um, and that is the only place that frankincense is grown, actually. Um, and it is, it's grown from the, the tears of the frankincense tree from the sap. So um, looking into how it's sourced is really, really fascinating. Um, some of the key benefits of frankincense, um, it's recommended to take one to two drops in a veggie cap to support healthy cellular function. Frankincense is really, really excellent at helping to support our cells and our body. And that is something that's really, really important. Um, we want healthy cells because when our cells start to go down, our bodies start to go down, and that's when things start to crop up that are chronic. So really um, helping to support your cellular health is important. So you can do that in a veggie cap, or you can even just drop the frankincense under your tongue. It's really important. I, my kids get frankincense twice a day. I put it in a, a little blend I make for their immune system so that I know they're getting their good dose of frankincense. Um, after a day of outdoor activity, you can massage frankincense into the hands and feet for a warming and soothing effect. It's very good for the skin. Add to moisturizer or lotion to reduce the appearance of blemishes and to rejuvenate the skin. So frankincense is, is, is a very healing oil for your body. It really gives your body the, the things that it needs to, um, to be well and healthy. Um, you can make, there's a great recipe for a clay mask for your skin. It's very rejuvenating, ladies. So put a drop of that frankincense right in your facial lotion and put it all over your face. To me, it feels like velvet. I love it. So definitely frankincense. It's also a great immune booster. Um, helps to support a healthy inflammatory response in the body as well. And we're all we all know that we want to help to be supporting the good inflammation 
and the bat and get rid of the bad inflammation in the body. So those are really, really important things to do. So frankincense absolutely daily. Then there's oregano. Oregano should be in every home. Um, oregano is not an oil that I use every day. Um, it's from the leaf. It's steam distilled, herbaceous, sharp, and green. Um, some key benefits, you can put two to three drops in a veggie cap to help maintain a healthy immune system. Okay, and you would only want to use that for about 10 days, and then you want to give your body a rest. Um, oregano is a really heavy hitter for the immune system. It really helps to support the body um, so that it can fight off invaders. Um, and an important note, too, that I want to say about the essential oils is that when we're using essential oils, it's not the oil in and of itself that's doing this for your body. Your body is doing it itself. It just needs a little bit of extra support. And the oil is what gives your body the extra support so your body can do its own job. Um, we, our bodies were created with wonderful immune systems that work beautifully, but sometimes they need a little bit of help. So anyways, oregano, awesome for immune boosting. Supports healthy digestion and respiratory function, and is used as a powerful cleansing and purifying agent. Oregano is probably not one I'd want to put in the diffuser, okay, really, unless you just really love Italian food and want your house to smell like oregano. But um, I do use it frequently internally and um, rub it on the bottoms of our feet when we just need that extra boost. Or even when you think that you've been exposed to some environmental threats, go ahead and start using the oregano just um, as a precaution. So obviously you would really want to dilute oregano. It's a very, very hot oil and I never recommend anyone use it without dilution. Then we have melaleuca. Melaleuca is also, is also known as tea tree oil. And um, it's from the leaf, it's steam distilled, herbaceous green and leathery, and it's sourced from Australia. The key benefits for melaleuca, it's renowned for its cleansing, rejuvenating effect on the skin. So it's also a really good one for skin. And for teenagers that have some skin issues and things, melaleuca is a great one to put on their skin after they wash their face. Um, melaleuca also helps promote healthy immune function. And this is what I mainly like to use to help boost immunity on my little ones, especially um, children under one years old. It's very gentle and I put it just on the bottoms of their feet and I like to combine it with lemon. And so I combine it in a little roller bottle or a spray bottle with diluted with coconut oil. And that's what I use on the bottoms of their feet to give them a little immune boost. Um, it protects against environmental and seasonal threats, which is why. So um, especially when you, we're going to be bringing a new baby home soon. And um, I already have my roller bottle of, um, a 10 milliliter roller bottle with just one drop melaleuca and one drop of lemon. It's all you need, diluted with fractured coconut oil for our little baby uh, boy. So that, you know, with kids coming in from school and all those other things, his immune system can be supported. Um, it can be used all different ways and can also be used topically with no dilution. So it can be used neat, it's that gentle. Um, and a great, tip for using melaleuca is you can actually make homemade makeup brush cleanser and cleanse your, your makeup brushes naturally without using chemicals with just a solution of melaleuca. So um, I actually did that recently and it was it worked beautifully. Then we are getting into some blends. So doTERRA's Breathe blend is the respiratory blend and it is one that we, I pretty much order Breathe from doTERRA every single month because um, I love to diff diffuse it. We put it on the girls topically and ourselves almost every day. Um, the ingredients are laurel leaf, peppermint, eucalyptus, melaleuca, lemon, rabansara, cardamom, um, it's minty, hot, fresh, and airy. All you have to do is open that bottle and put it under your nose, and you will feel your sinuses just open. Your airways will be clear. It's pretty miraculous. Um, it helps maintain feelings of clear airways and easy breathing. So a lot of times I like to put this on us um, before we go to bed because you know you're not going to get a restful night's sleep if you can't breathe. So it really, really helps um, when you put it topically on the chest, 
for, for, for little children. I like to put it on their feet sometimes, cover them with socks. This is not one you want to rub in your eyes. In fact, we never want to put essential oils in our eyes, in our nose, or in our ears. <laughs> Those are big no-nos that, that will really sting your eyes. And if you happen to get it in your eyes, that's okay. Just take, go grab your coconut oil or any other kind of carrier oil and, and dab the oil around your eyes. Don't use water. The water will actually drive the oil in deeper. But the oil, the coconut oil, the carrier oil, will dilute it so it doesn't go into the body quite as fast. So anyways, that's Breathe. It helps minimize the effects of seasonal threats. And um, when loud noises are keeping you up at night, diffuse for a calming effect that promotes a restful night's sleep. So you can apply it, and you can also put it in your diffuser. So, um, and then even combining it with lavender at night so that you really have a, that calming aroma at bedtime is really beneficial. So breathe this one that we would only use um, aromatically or topically, and dilute for sensitive skin um, because it does have peppermint in it. And then there's On Guard. On Guard is the protective blend. And this is another one, like Breathe, um, that I buy monthly. This is not one that I ever like to go out of stock of. Um, it is a blend of wild orange, clove bud, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, ro and rosemary. Um, it's warm and spicy, woody. Um, it smells kind of like Christmas to me. Um, I really like the smell of it. Um, and this is our big immune boosting oil. Um, it's an effective alternative to synthetic options for immune support, okay, which is, of course, why you would never want to run out of it, right? Um, it supports the body's natural antioxidant defenses, supports healthy respiratory function, and when you diffuse it, it really cleanses the air. I like to diffuse On Guard for at least, at least one time a day for at least an hour, and it really does a great job of cleaning and um, purifying the air that's in your home. Um, I also, On Guard is another one that I use to clean my house all the time. And I just put a few drops, maybe depending on the size of the spray bottle, if it's a larger one, I'll probably put 15 to 35 drops in there. And I fill it up with water and that's also what I use to clean our house. We use On Guard as well. I make my own hand sanitizers and um, I get the smaller glass bottles and I put um, maybe two to four drops in there with some water, shake it so that it all gets mixed together and that's what I use to spray our hands. And I have those all over the house and in every bag that comes in and out of our house. So uh, in fact, I even have them at my daughter's school. <laughs> and all those little kindergarten kids, they get their hands sprayed with our guard hand sanitizers. So, um, it's, it's one of my favorite essential oils. I actually also use this to cook. Sometimes I'll put a drop in muffins or pancakes or something just because all of those, I mean, orange and clove and cinnamon, those are all really great flavors and it tastes really good. Um, you can soak sliced apples in water with a few drops of doTERRA on guard for a healthy immune boosting snack. That's a really great tip for, um, for little kids coming home as an after school snack. And also, using On Guard as a um, oral rinse after you brush your teeth um, is really, really good for your oral health. Clove is awesome for oral health, and so I always recommend people do that or use peppermint. So making your own um, mouthwash, you can make your own everything with the essential oils. So that's the beauty of them as well. And then there's Digestin. Digestin is not uh, is an oil that I never leave the house without. I have it in many different little containers and little little tiny sample bottles that I carry with myself just in case I need it in my purse or anywhere else. Um, the ingredients are ginger root, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise, tarragon, and fennel. And it's very spicy and sweet and minty and licorice with the fennel. That gives it that licorice scent. So many people don't like the smell of it. It wasn't my favorite scent, but when I used it, I couldn't believe the benefit it gave my body. Um, you can add to water or tea to maintain a healthy gastrointestinal tract. So you can use this daily. You can just take it internally daily just for your intestinal health. Helps reduce bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion. 
Um, have digestion on hand when enjoying heavy holiday meals to promote digestion. Also, if you travel a lot and you're eating in different places and drinking different water and things like that, you're going to want to have some digestive support and digestion is your oil. So use it. Um, it can be used all three ways, aromatic, topical, and internal. Um, it can be used without dilution. However, I always do recommend the dilution because ginger and peppermint are oils that you probably would want to dilute because they can have an irritating um, effect on, this, on some people's skin, not everybody. Um, also, using digestion during a road trip to convocational motion sickness, so you can enjoy the, the scenery. And that can be for the car, that can be for the plane, for boats, um, because ginger is in it. Ginger actually has the ability to um, cut off the um, nausea mechanism in the body, so it really helps the body not be nauseated or not have feelings of nausea. And then there's deep blue. Um, I actually just put this on. I was having some tension in my head, so I rubbed a little bit of deep blue on my temples. Um, it is the soothing blend. Um, this is only for topical application. The oils are wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, blue tansy, blue chamomile, helichrysum, and osmanthus. Um, it's very minty. Think of, um, we were sitting in the car the other day, and, I said, and uh, it reminded me of wintergreen gum. And um, I love the smell of it. I think it's really refreshing. Um, you can rub deep blue on your lower back muscles after a day of heavy lifting at work or during a move. Perfect for soothing massage after a long day of housework. And you can apply on the feet and knees before and after exercise. So deep blue, when uh, I'm training clients in Pilates, I mean, this is one that I use quite frequently. And it comes in the oil, but it also comes in a rub form. And um, the rub form is a little bit more intense um, sensation on the skin because it just has a little more menthol in it. Um, but the oil is just as potent and it's wonderful. Really like to put it on people before they exercise. Helps to warm up the muscles and the joints so that you can move with greater ease. And then after a workout, it really helps to ease any kind of soreness and um, help, um, act, helps the body have also a healthy inflammatory response as well. So I love Deep Blue. In fact, I think diffusing Deep Blue is, is really um, relaxing. I like the smell of it. Um, massage Deep Blue with a few drops of carrot oil onto growing kids' legs before bedtime. I do this with my daughter, um, who's five now and um, it has really helped to soothe her during this, you know, her, her growing years. So we love Deep Blue. And then also one that you really want to be able to have in your house, now that summer, spring is here, summer is coming, is Terra Shield. And this is the repellent blend, okay? And um, they have just now reformulated this blend and in the new blend, they have nutka wood, ylang, ylang flower, cedar wood, catnip, lemon eucalyptus, litsi fruit, arborvitae, and tamanu seed oil. So um, they have reformulated it to make it um, more beneficial, more potent. It is already diluted in a base of fractionated coconut oil, so you could really just take that bottle of Terra Shield, pop a spray top on it, and spray everybody down. And it's safe for everyone. In fact, I've also put a drop of Terra Shield in our dog's shampoo, and that's what I would use to shampoo her. Um, helps ward off insects. To focus on experiencing nature instead of avoiding it, um, apply before a hike. Diffuse to pr protect against insects during the, your, during the summer. And you can apply to your kids' arms and legs to help them get the most out of their summer vacation. We used this a lot last summer when we were vacationing in Michigan, and those bugs were huge. So I put this on our girls every time they went outside, and it's not sticky, and it smells really refreshing and good. Um, and like I said, it's safe. We know how bad those um, bug repellents are for your body, so we don't want to be using them anymore. We want to be using something that's really good for our body. And it's cheap. And it's cheap. And it is cheap, actually. It comes now, they actually have made it into its own spray bottle. So I'm planning on just investing in getting like 
a dozen of those things and just having them everywhere in the car and the diaper bag and my purse, you know, give David a few, um, just so that we have those. So there's no, there's no excuse for, for bug bites. And even if you don't, even if you, even if you don't want to, you're not trying to stave off bugs, we still like the smell of it. I still apply it to myself, even if I'm inside or I just, it's a great smell. It's a cheap oil. It's a good, it's great to give samples out and stuff with that one. Yeah. Um, also, what's great, all the oils that I've talked about tonight um, are also available <laughs> in pre-diluted roller bottles. This is called the doTERRA Touch Kit. And this is fabulous. This has saved my life on multiple occasions um, because I dilute all the oils on myself. And um, so this makes life really, really easy. They're all, and they're all diluted um, in really specific ratios so you get the very best benefit. So they're not over diluted or under diluted. Um, there's a real science to dilution. So um, I recommend everyone getting a, a few touch oils. You can buy them individually or you can get them in the kit. Um, sometimes I order the kit and then whenever I, I start with the kit and then whenever I run out, I'll just order that individual one and they're all different varying prices. So it's really going to be, especially when you've got children, you know, when they need something just to be able to whip out your roller bottle and there you go. Um, really, really helpful. Some other products that you really want to be able to have in your home that are essential oil based that doTERRA offers. The doTERRA Breathe Vapor Stick, um, it's one of the newer products that came out last year. And um, this is the Breathe Essential Oil in, in like a vapor stick. So we use this to rub on our chest and it is amazing. Um, my, actually my, my children love it. My, my littlest one, Olivia, she just loves this. In fact, she walks around with, with it and she wants to put it on everyone's chest and rub it in. Um, it really helps maintain feelings of clear airways and easy breathing. It's quick, convenient delivery system, and it does provide a cooling, soothing effect, both topically and aromatically. So I really feel my airways open pretty much immediately after I apply this to my chest. And you, and you can use it pre-workout as well. I mean, you yeah. can put it on before you're going to go for a run. It really helps open up the airways, really gives you that cooling sensation. So when you're, when you're getting hot, it's cooling your body as well because it's uh, invigorating and opening up those airways. So really good for pre-workout as well. Good point. Um, and then also Do uh, doTERRA offers many um, different on-guard products. So they have the On Guard Throat Drops. They're really good for soothing the throat. They have already made a cleaner concentrate for you. So all you do is just pour a little bit of that, like a tablespoon or a teaspoon in your spray bottle, and there's your cleaner. Lasts forever. They also make On Guard Toothpaste. And this is all we use in our house. We only buy On Guard Toothpaste. It's awesome for your oral health, safe for our kids. Um, so we love that. And um, they make uh, hand soap with pumps already and, and, and refills. So you have uh, an already made hand soap um, for yourself. They have on guard beadlets. Um, and they're just these little beads, and it's about half a drop of oil in each bead. So that's a great way to boost your immune system during the day. You just pop those beadlets in your mouth. And there's just a nice little burst of cinnamon for you. So um, those are a few of the products, extra products that are essential oil based. And then also I wanted to talk about fractionated coconut oil. I really, there are lots of different carrier oils, but fractionated coconut oil is my very, very favorite. And um, in the doTERRA Living Magazine, there's a really great article on fractionated coconut oil and how all of its amazing benefits. And some of the different things that it can be used for. Um, some of the benefits are it has a longer shelf life than regular coconut oil because what has happened is all of the fat has been spun out of the fractionated coconut oil, so it's always in a liquid state. So it can hold up to higher heat. It can, it's not going to go rancid as fast. Um, it's less greasy and has a lightweight texture. So when you're using it with the essential oils and you're rubbing it on your body, you're not left all greasy and gross. You're, it, it absorbs beautifully into your skin. Um, and and that enhan enhances the absorption, especially for dry skin with essential oils, and it prevents sensitivity responses. 
So some other ways that you can use the doTERRA fractionated coconut oil is you can use it as a hair conditioner. You just apply it to your damp hair and massage it in. Um, maybe put a cap on, let it wait for 30 minutes, and then uh, wash it out. So it can be really good uh, conditioner for your hair. Um, it can give your hair shine. In fact, I think, David, you've been just using that in your hair, yeah, right? Yeah, as soon as I get out of the shower, I'll put just a couple of drops in my hand and rub it into my hair, and it, it makes my hair just shiny and soft. And then, obviously, in the morning, I get up and I do my thing. Because he has this beautiful, shiny, soft hair. Beautiful, luscious mm -hmm. hair. Um, you can use it as a makeup remover. Um, uh, apply a few drops to a cotton ball and just remove your makeup with it. It's great. It's really moisturizing. Um, for foot care, mix with lavender essential oil and massage into the heels of your feet. Um, a skin softener, you can add it to a warm bath with essential oils or use it as an after shower moisturizer. Um, the bottle's not that big. Maybe it's a few ounces, maybe eight ounces, maybe less. And some people put like um, uh, 30 or so drops of an essential oil in the whole bottle and they shake it up and that's what they use. They apply that all over themselves as a moisturizer. Um, nail care, apply directly to dry cuticles before a manicure. Um, you can use this as great massage oil to give back rubs and to massage into the skin. Um, Obviously, this is what we use to dilute our essential oils. You can condition your leather with this, um, applying on the clean cloth and rub it into the leather and furniture to help rejuvenate it. Um, you can use it as a wood furniture polish. Um, a paintbrush cleaner, never thought about that. Combine it with lemon essential oil and soak your paintbrush to remove oil-based paint. And um, this is what I use to clean my makeup brushes. Um, I combine it with Melaleuca and lemon with some fractionated coconut oil, and that's what I clean my brushes with. Um, you can revitalize your plants by brushing a little bit on the leaves, whether they're real or fake in your house. And um, you can clean your car dashboard and make it all nice and shiny and clean. Um, that's a really great tip. And a crayon remover. <laughs> Rub it on the crayon marks, let it soak for 10 minutes, and then wipe off. And I like to do that. You know, you can do it with the lemon, or you can do lemon alone, or just try the fraction of coconut oil. So there's lots and lots of uses for that. Um, anyway, so if you're new to doTERRA, the way that we purchase is there's two ways you can purchase retail. This only makes sense if you only want to purchase one item, because it's just too expensive otherwise. Because why, if you get a discount, would you want to buy retail? And then wholesale, it's the best way to buy. doTERRA works just like Costco, it's a warehouse. You, get, you pay $35 and you get a year of wholesale prices, which are 25% off. There's no commitment to buy anything else ever. You can just buy one thing if you want, or they have programs where you can buy monthly if you wanted to. But everything's optional and you choose what you want. Um, enjoy 25% off of your first purchase and all future purchases for a year. The membership fee is waived when you buy a kit and there are kits that are available for you just to help you get set up in your home with essential oils. In fact, all of the oils that I talked about tonight are in a kit called the Family Physicians Kit. And it's a great kit. It's just really basic and it sets you up with all of these things so that you can get started. Anyways, that is the end of our class. If you have questions or if you'd like to get started with doTERRA, here's my email address, abigail.doterra at gmail.com. Um, my website is mydoterra.com slash Abigail B. Hansen. And David and I have a, web, uh, a Facebook group called Simple Wellness with DNA Essentials. So you can find me on Facebook and um, tell me you attended my class and I'll friend you and I can add you to our group. And it's just all about education and healthy living. Um, that's where I post about my webinars and, and different educational opportunities that I'm doing. So I'm here to help you and I'm happy to help. Now, if someone else invited you to this class, feel free to contact them, and they can help you um, get going with doTERRA if you'd like as well. So thanks for coming to this class. I'm going to stop the recording, and we'll have some questions if we have any.